Hi, everybody. We're back to Wednesday today. Um, I just wanted to answer um, a couple of questions that I've received during the week. And one of the questions was about, um, do I recommend a book, a certain book on Cezanne? And uh, so I brought um, some books out here. And of course, many of you who have come to my talks know about my story about Van Gogh, about Cezanne and Van Gogh, but about how Van Cezanne got me to the south of France. And it is through this book that my life at the age of 16 took a turn. My father gave me this book for my birthday. I was hoping for a car, of course. Got this book, was so disappointed with the gift and seeing his delight over his gift, I mustered up a little enthusiasm to try to be happy over the gift. And um, here is his inscription. And the book is by Leonelli Venturi. And as we flipped through the pages on this, in this book, back in the days when I was 16 and I was missing summer camp, um, on Lookout Mountain, Camp Soto, where I had gone summer after summer, and I knew I could no longer be a camper ever again for the rest of my life. Well, when we came upon Cezanne's mountain paintings, when we came upon his mountain paintings, then I saw that this painter knows what the power of a mountain is. The counselor at Camp de Soto told me in the final spiritual retreat, don't cry, don't, don't worry about high school and all the, your worries, just take the mountain with you in your heart. I knew what she meant and that's what I did. And then in December of that year, my father gave me this book and I discovered Paul Cezanne. Now if you look through this book that I have had since the age of 16 years old, I have gone through it and I have um, marked it up pretty bad. I've marked it up on every page. It's very well written. I'm not sure if it's still in print, but it's a Skira, which is always a good um, publisher, and it is by Leonelli Venturi. The other books that you can find on Cezanne that are fantastic are any book by John Raywald. These books are all superb and the images are superb and you can learn so much from John Raywald's books. He's the foremost connoisseur on Cezanne. And this book that came out not too long ago, a few years ago, is also in English. This My copy's in French, but it has all of the sites that he painted that I take people to see also and then the actual painting so you can see how his imagination worked with what he saw. So those, that's to answer that question. This book is by, well, this book is called The Sights of Provence, Paul Cezanne. Société Paul Cezanne. So it must be the Paul Cezanne Foundation that put this book out. Um, Otherwise, you can buy my book, Art, Soul, and Destiny, which has a lot um, of writing that I have done about um, why is Cezanne considered the father of modern art? What is it about him that has put him on that high pedestal? And how he's influenced me and how I see Cezanne through the eyes of the artist. So that's another possibility, is Art, Soul, and Destiny. Um, let's see, were there any other questions? There was. Um, oh, now I must tell you, why are we not in the um, interior space that I announced that I would be in? Well, this evening, um, my son Jimmy and I went outside and we saw how beautiful the light is out here. And about five minutes ago, before the fiasco of our dog running my horse away, my horse was right here enjoying his peaceful time in the yard and now he's been chased away. So I was thinking of painting um, my horse and I thought that would be really exciting and unusual for you to watch me paint my horse. So um, that has changed and 
just like I said last week, the life of the artist, um, the mind of the artist changes just like that. So I'm here, I'm set up, it's time, and I'm going to paint the olive trees. Painting these olive trees, what you mostly see is green. And there's a beautiful ray of light coming under the trees that's very important to me. And also it's important because I feel that um, Vincent van Gogh is going to be with me while I paint this painting. He did so many paintings of the olive trees at, in Saint Remy, and so I, I often feel a connection with him and I listen to um, his spirit when I'm painting and I can feel those brush strokes helping me with my brush strokes. So I will try to try to climb on the shoulders of Vincent van Gogh as I um, bring this seen into being. I don't know if um, the visual on the um, video here is evident that the um, iris reeds are completely filled with little baby escargot, which is what we have at this time of year. And it's causing, it's bringing light down into nature. And it's what I love about July is these tiny little white escargot that look like snow has come into my garden and turned my garden into a shell garden. All right, here we go.
I think I'm done. It's always good to walk away a little bit to see what you've done and try to... So today it was just a quick painting of the olive trees and too bad my horse was not here at the moment, the very moment I wanted him to be here. Do you have any questions? Oh yeah, could you bring it up? Windy and too hard to do it outside, then I will definitely work on the second session of the big painting in the interior space. Thank you. Bye.